Welcome back to Yahoo Finds' uh, Rockin' Retail Special at the Oculus in New York City. Joining me now is our very own Danny Romero, who got to hang out in a distribution center for UBS in Manhattan ahead of holidays. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, yeah so, so tis, tis the season, season for holiday shopping, shopping but, but guess what? what? It's also the season for holiday shipping. So I got an inside look at one of the UPS centers here in Manhattan on how they're tackling this holiday season. Take a look. As customers click, companies like UPS ship. It starts with the planning of the job prior to the actual unload, where the data that comes in from the shipping labels is sorted. The planners are then able to determine which vehicles will get which packages, and that sets up for the label application processes throughout the facility and allows for the uh, package to flow through the facility in the right manner. When you compare volume from last year to this year, what does that look like? At this point, we're seeing a slight decrease, and we said that that may happen due to the fact that there's not an inventory shortage of goods in the market. Leo Cummings is the New York operations manager at this UPS center on West 43rd Street in Manhattan. Well, I can tell you that uh, all the packages that come through this facility, 90% of the packages in our network go through some automated facilities. Here's how automation works at this location. Packages pass through machines like this that scans each parcel and spits out another label, giving workers a clear indication to where that package is going. Well, automation here allows us to de-skill certain handling uh, opportunities for us. Uh, it allows us to make sure we're, we're aware of where packages need to go in their final destination. Um, it's, it's a great tool for the entire building to use so we can identify where packages truly belong and get to the customer. Ultimately, we want to get to the point where the package is going to the right vehicle so they can get to the right customer. Cummings says this has not reduced their number of workers inside the facility. Automation allows you to take out the variables. This facility processes more than 200,000 packages a day during this holiday season. At this site, they've already started to ramp up. From the plan aspect, are we able to handle extra volume? Are we able to adjust when we have less volume? So um, we're ready for peak season. Cummings says they will continue to hire more people. There's a great opportunity for people. Last year alone, over 35,000 seasonal employees became permanent employees at UPS. And, and those positions, positions that you just heard, they range from $15 to $36 an hour. But Sazi, there's also something else on the table for UPS, and that is one of the largest rail unions rejected a tentative deal. So that really, you know, UPS is one of the largest rail customers. They sent us a statement that reads, uh, we encourage an immediate resolution that is beneficial to all parties, and we believe that agreements can be reached. A rail, a rail strike would cause unnecessary impacts for the U.S. economy and consumers, and UPS will flex our integrated smart logistics network to serve our customers. So the stakes are really high here, Brian. All right, Danny Romero, good reporting. Now,